To enable the hot bar you have to go into the settings and what I decided to put here was pets that I thought I might age up. Mainly some neon legendaries that I made such as Richard, I also put Custard in. Also I was going to make a neon hamster so I thought to put that in. I also added a vehicle, also added a stand because I thought maybe I'll use it, my grappling hook and my dog because I use them quite often. And there is my lovely little hot bar that you can actually click on your stuff and it just comes up instantly rather than you having to go into your inventory and I think that's just so cool. So this is what my profile looks like at the moment, obviously I'm going to add some stats, I'm going to maybe change the background on my pets displays, possibly add a trade history as well, but we're going to see how this looks. So we have a new player stats section and basically this is going to show all the stats and generally someone who plays this a lot, I feel like this is quite good to me. So these are all of the new little stats that we can have, there's badges, neon pets, rideable pets, there's just like so many things. So as I was putting these stats in, I was actually quite shocked with like the amount of hours, my login streak, my eggs hatch, Neil's exactly 100, I was like whoa, okay. But I have like so many things, I didn't put everything in because like let's say toys, vehicles I'm not too interested in, I like pets and stuff. I was kind of wondering whether I should put my join date because obviously it's not my join date because I was hacked and stuff but either way I think it looks super cool. We also have some brand new backgrounds for the pet display, these I'm actually in love with. And the best part about all this, right, not only do we have new backgrounds, but we can actually make it so that it's just a solid colour. So obviously because of custard, I was like, do I want my normal like blue, white maybe? But then I decided in the end that I was just going to have a nice little yellow because I thought, you know what, it's custard, it's yellow, and I thought it was super cute. So the final thing is the trade history, this isn't really my strong point because obviously I'm not really a trader, I'm more of just a collector and stuff I suppose, I literally trade nothing. I was also wondering what trade to do but then I thought my winged horse trade where basically I got a fully grown winged horse, I thought it was quite a good trade, it was more fair as well which I'm quite happy with. Also I didn't realise people could vote your trade so I thought oh my god that's quite cool, but yeah I'm quite happy with that. Also, just so that some people know, these houses are going to be leaving basically day after day, but luckily they've also been reduced by prices, but obviously you can probably still get them by trading if you're able to, including the Robux ones because I know not everyone has Robux, but obviously I'm not the biggest house builder collector all of that, but hopefully if you guys want to get these you can. One final thing that we can do with this update as well is that cars that we've never been able to colour before or if you want to recolour yours. You can do that, obviously it costs 50 bucks, but that's not too expensive so I think that's quite good. But just speak to Cole in the little vehicle shop and you can choose whatever colour you want and you will have a brand new coloured vehicle.